Fertilized Atlantic salmon eggs are delivered to the Down East Salmon Federation's conservation hatcheries from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife's Craigbrook National Fish Hatchery. Eggs are disinfected and laid down in heat stacks. Once the majority of the eggs have hatched into Alvin, they are transferred into substrate incubation boxes, or SIB for short. Alvin are newly hatched salmon that feed off their yolk sac that provide nutrients to the salmon until they are ready to feed on their own. The few remaining eggs are separated from the alvin utilizing a tote with a mesh screen. Using a method similar to panning for gold, the eggs stay in the mesh screen while the alvin flow through into the tote below. The eggs are then put back into the egg tray while the alvin are then transferred into the SIB. Substrate incubation boxes are designed to mimic a salmon red from the river in the hatchery. The PVC upweller in the bottom of the box pushes river water up through the mesh screen. The gravel is laid on top of the mesh to act as the river bottom. Plastic media fills the box to provide space for the alvin to spread out and develop into fry. These SIBs provide more space for the alvin to spread out than if they were left in the egg trays to develop. After about a month and a half, the salmon will have absorbed the majority of their yolk sac and swim up and out of the SIB just like a salmon in the river would swim out of the red when they're ready to feed. SIBs used in the Peter Graham method mimic wild conditions that fry experience while emerging from reds in the river.